This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free offer for my viewers. Ask yourself, are you on the investment treadmill? You know what I mean, saving and saving and saving cash for retirement. Well, guess what? That savings isn't gonna be worth much by the time you retire. Cash is trash. You have to make money work for you. You might already have the money that you need, but maybe you're not using it right. You're probably relying on stocks or mutual funds when really you need to diversify. With gold likely to go $2,500 an ounce this year, it's a perfect time. If you feel like this could be the answer for you, call the team at Noble Gold, take out a qualifying IRA this month, and they'll gift you a solid gold 22 karat 1 10th ounce American Eagle bullion coin. Visit our website now at the link you can find in the description or pinned comment. Go right now and check out this free American eagle gold coin offer welcome back everyone well once again and i guess we shouldn't be surprised as this conflict between israel and hamas heats up some u.s media are outright lying about specific details regarding israeli airstrikes and casualties admittedly something we see the u.s media do every single day to push an agenda but just because they do it daily doesn't mean we stop calling it out over at cbs news they've doubled down on their deceptive reporting from yesterday and if you haven't seen that video go check it out after this one today they're once again acting as hamas PR and willing players in the terrorist tactic of using human shields for propaganda purposes. So during a report on Israeli airstrikes, the fake reporter Elizabeth Palmer withheld important details in an attempt to spin favorably for Hamas and negatively against Israel. Just after nine this evening, rockets fired from Gaza lit up the sky over Tel Aviv. Down on the ground, sirens wailed and people ran for cover. One woman was killed in the attack. Can you even imagine having to constantly run into bomb shelters because your country is being constantly bombarded by a terrorist organization whose openly stated goal is your eradication? Imagine being a reporter in the U.S. and carrying water for genocidal maniac. First off, she downplays the amount of Israeli casualties as one person killed. As far as I could find, there have been three Israelis killed, maybe even more at this point, and over 200 wounded. That never comes up in her report. You know why? Because while Iron Dome is a good defense system, it's not perfect. Israelis in one of their border towns were pounded by artillery, which is where the other two dead Israelis came from. You see, the media is always trying to downplay the deadliness of Hamas and their arsenal, but it just isn't true. Hamas isn't killing tons of Israelis for lack of trying or because of the deadliness of their weapons. Hamas would kill way more people if not for two main things. One, the Israeli early warning and bunker system. Once those alarms start going off, people have plenty of time to get to one of many available bunkers. And then there's Iron Dome, which I said is good, but not perfect. Without these two things, there would be way more dead Israelis. And like I noted before, you constantly hear that Israel responds disproportionately. Well, if they responded proportionally, there would be way more dead Palestinians. Instead of surgically striking specific targets where they were attacked from, they would just launch hundreds of artillery missiles into Palestine indiscriminately, killing hordes of people. These people in the media are either complete idiots or they're knowingly lying to push an anti-Israel agenda. Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu warned that General Hamas Trump and Islamic Jihad would pay a heavy Trump. price. The Palestinian citizens of Gaza have already paid a heavy price. All day, Israeli airstrikes pounded the territory, officially targeting military installations. But civilian buildings were destroyed too. Oh, really now? The implication here seems to be that Israelis are making Palestinians pay a heavy price by targeting civilian buildings. Wrong, 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 wrong. This lying hack is withholding all kinds of important information simply so she can demonize Israel. Israel did put out many warnings for civilians to leave that building before they were hit. And then drones flew overhead to make sure all the people had left. And two, Hamas is specifically using these civilian buildings buildings as bases and launch sites specifically to deter retaliatory strikes. They know very well that once Israel strikes back, U.S. and world media will willingly jump at the chance to be Hamas stooges and put out reports like this one. Imagine thinking that you've devised the most brilliant military strategy ever. Simply launch your attacks from civilian areas, thereby preventing your targets from defending themselves. Just look at this 2014 report from an Indian news agency called NDTV. A 
blue tent has come up. It wasn't there last night. It came up just this morning. And there have been two men moving in and out of it. Now, by reasonable doubt, it's fair to guess that this is a potential Hamas rocket launching site that's being set up. It also establishes something which Hamas has always been accused of, that they actually use densely populated civilian areas to fire their rockets. So that's the rocket being fired today morning, a day after it was assembled at the exact spot the rocket has been fired. That's the smoke. We just shot a video of it in the immediate aftermath. Okay, so we're not actually going in there because uh, it's been rightly pointed out to us that there could be an immediate Israeli retaliation uh, to the rocket that was fired from here. He told the reporter to avoid going to those civilian buildings where they just launched missiles from because Israel would likely strike back. Of course they're going to strike back. You're telling me this propagandist at CBS doesn't know this? Just look at this report on the same airstrikes from ABC News. A network that is normally equally deceitful in their reporting, but in this case, they actually reported all the facts. Tonight, that image, Israeli missiles leveling an apartment building in Gaza, smoke soaring skyward. Sources telling ABC News the building had been evacuated, a drone surveying the scene to make sure people were out. Just throw this latest example of media corruption on the towering, stinking, heaping pile of steaming reasons to turn off your TV and let me watch it for you. That's all I have for this one. Please hit that like button on your way out and I'll see you all tomorrow.